I feel like I just made this kind of intro yesterday, which I kind of did, but the kills for today's video were actually kind of shot while doing the same thing. We've been on this whitetail grind, and I had some pretty good luck with the actual whitetail respawns this time. And, I mean, you've already seen the title and thumbnail, you kind of know what's going on, but... Yeah, I was looking at my numbers, I think I'm somewhere in the area of 850 to 900 whitetail shot now. I shot 943 animals since the update, we've done a couple of hunts that weren't whitetail, but mainly that's been uh, all whitetail and respawns on my own map, so some good luck kind of all in the same couple of days frame and I thought they'd go in a video together. I have been trying to make videos like that where it's sort of just like in the process of doing the whole grinding thing for the great one. If we get some kills that kind of go together, I am trying to put them in videos because I have the whole turkey hunting uh, thing going on in real life as well, so I have a little bit less time to actually make videos. So it's nice when I can, you know, kind of get videos out of just the normal, usually boring grinding. Because, I mean, I'd be doing this anyway where I'm going around and just grinding for the great one, and I mean, we do some videos, like, of just a straight up hunt and see if we get lucky and all that stuff, but it's just nice when the stuff that I'm doing where usually it's not meant to be a video actually produces this cool stuff. Man, so this herd hasn't spawned a buck in forever, or if it has, like he's been hiding. And it's another piebald, and it's from the same tripod that we killed the other. The other piebald on stream was down here. We have an 85 to 100 buck to kill there, and I know there's another one in the brush somewhere. But yeah, I haven't seen a buck here in a long time. I was starting to wonder if this herd would ever spawn another buck, and the first one I finally see is a rare, and it should be another gold rare, like he's another good sized buck. I really like what the whitetail grind has done. Just like producing so many cool kills. But yeah, just because we're here for respawns. I don't know where that other buck is, I don't see it. I know he's like somewhere right back in here, but the max weight ones are the important ones, at least in our little respawn theories, so. Get that guy, and if we can manage to get the other buck, there he is. We'll take it too. Depends on how far that actually was. We may have gotten a good double lung. Yeah, he died. So that'll be good. We got both of our respawns and another good sized rare buck. I mentioned it, uh, I think it was on the stream when we killed the nice albino we've been very very lucky with our like rare whitetail size and i believe we're somewhere in the area of like 700 to 750 whitetail harvest since the update i did actually stop grinding for a while because someone killed a like 108 to 109 kilo uh level three whitetail which should have been a great one but apparently like great ones that spawned before a certain update ended up coming back like after the update is level threes which is unfortunate so I thought there was a chance they could be bugged, but I'm pretty sure, uh, according to what TK said, they're actually all good. It's just, like, those certain ones, unfortunately, that was going to be what happened to them. But, yeah, kind of getting back to it, and a pretty nice little return present. Not the best way to land. Actually, if I turn the tracks off, though, the Star Veg at least won't be glowing in his face. Get one quick screenshot of that, since it looks nice. And, as I said, another nice gold piebald. He's very, very similar. I want to say the last one was 84.11 kilos. Not the same zone, but from the same tripod. Really, really cool. And just since I showed them in the video, we'll go and claim our other bucks as well. It does make me wonder, like, what could make that buck randomly decide to respawn over there? Oh, we actually didn't hit him well at all. Alright, that's kind of weird, but, yeah, I don't know, like, why, it, I don't know how many times I went over there since the last time I had a buck, and then finally one comes back and it's a rare, so who knows, like, what the heck caused that, actually looks really cool with that angle, with that bent time there, but, yeah, a couple of respawns from that, I'll turn my tracks back on just so I don't forget, and we got another rare out of this, I mentioned it at some point, like, if we kill a bunch of rare and diamond whitetails in the process of this, even if we never get a great one, but hopefully, like, leading up to get one eventually, I'm gonna be over the moon because I've got so many plaques to fill. You literally can't even make this up. There's another piebald two zones later. I 
we were just down here. We shot these two down here. I shot, I forget if it was two or three bucks right here in this zone. It looks like tier two hunting pressure. And then move up here. Not only is there a bigger pie bolt, he was up to 299. He's like one rack shape below the diamond rack. There's another 85 to 100 there, slightly smaller with the same rack shape. Like, what is going on? This is my first run after the stream, and I always try to get good stuff for the streams. And then we didn't kill, like, anything interesting on stream. Yet the respawns from the stream have yielded us two pretty nice pie bolts. So, uh, we'll take those. Looks like we got good shots on both of them. Now, there was another buck there, and I am starting to wonder if there's something to that. I talked about it on stream. I'm leaving all the level 1 bucks uh, in my herds, the really small ones now. I was pretty much only trying to leave the ones with the uh, weight estimate lower than that guy, so there's 55 to 70 kilo level 1 whitetail sometimes, and those were the ones I was trying to leave. But I kind of left a couple of those other ones as well, and I do wonder if there's some sort of balancing act that goes on with the herds. If you remember, over a year ago now, we tried that whitetail herd management thing where we really only tried to shoot the small ones and then we would kill any big ones later. It's kind of a similar idea, but I mean, I haven't seen any huge bucks. These two are nice, but two rares, so we'll take those while we're kind of learning about it. But yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of really solid respawns like this anywhere. And right away after trying it on stream, we got a couple of nice bucks. And again, a really big pie bulb, 266. So he's literally what, 10.5 trophy rating below diamond? And I mean, certainly, he'll take the place of the piebald gold we have in the multi-mount now. And he'll look real good right alongside that albino diamond. Really, these two fighting, the albino diamond and this guy, that could be cool. But I think I want to stick with the multi-mount, at least for now. But man, just absurd luck with the rares. And it seems to come in waves. Like, I'll shoot several hundred without anything, and then I get two in the same stream, now two in the same little run I'm doing here tonight. It's just weird. I don't know. I'll take it, though. That's really cool. So another spot that for a while I was actually worried stopped respawning bucks, and I believe this would be our biggest diamond so far uh, from the grind, 253 to 325. I'm pretty sure 325 is the higher end, or the highest, like, higher end that I've seen, and... I'll put them somewhere like 289, maybe 290 if we're lucky with the decimals. But, I think we can just go ahead and take that shot there. The funny thing is, the last thing I did here was shoot a couple of rabbits because there were no deer in sight. So, maybe it took them a while to respawn. But that should be a perfectly fine lung shot. I totally forgot that I'm supposed to be doing respawn stuff here. This is my basically first stop now when I'm doing my whitetail route because this spot in the middle here where I used to go. Both of these zones, I rarely ever get whitetail anymore. Sometimes I get them here, but most of the time this ends up being my first real stop. So good to see that like this spot is still spawning bucks and apparently sometimes can spawn some really good bucks. But yeah, another pretty cool one today. I mean, I say today, but that's today as far as the video goes. The two pie balls were yesterday, but I've been doing a little extra whitetail grinding because I wanted something else to go with them. And I think this guy's a pretty good addition. I mean, like I said, I believe it was in that last video, like, if we can get a bunch of these kind of things, like rare whitetail, diamond whitetail, stuff to fill the walls in the trophy lodge, I'm going to be really happy with it. Like, I like the whitetail. They're not amazing looking with the Shurax, but they're pretty good. And of course, they hunt them in real life, so if I can get a bunch of them in my lodge, that's good. But he's a 289.35, really with a low weight uh, from, like, looking at the old system. But, good single lung shot. Pretty sure he's the biggest. The other one was high 280s as well. But that is now the second level 3 white tail I've seen on my own map as a respawn from doing this. So that's another really cool addition. We get to have a much bigger piebald here in the multi-mount. So we have a diamond albino. He's 278.8 trophy rating. We have the piebald, which is 266. So he's literally only 12 smaller. And then another albino back there at 232. Like, all of these are good-sized rares. I said that in the video. Like, we have been really lucky with the size of our rares. We had one really tiny spike. The rest have been gold or even the diamond with the albino. Like, it's been insane luck. 
But then we have our biggest diamond from the grind so far. Maybe biggest true rack uh, diamond whitetail in terms of trophy rating. I don't know what like my old system one scored, but 289.3 is quite good. And then now we have the two piebalds, the new one and the old one just out here. Like this whole area is kind of a work in progress. That wall I'm pretty happy with, but I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. We have that albino puma from a parquet hunt and then these couple of uh, piebald whitetail here. This is the new one and then the old one, which that big piebald in the multi-mount replaced. But yeah, um, I'm planning on doing a albino brown bear grind or the beginning of that, just like a brown bear hunt and starting to look for respawns on that over on Medved pretty soon. So that's going to be another thing I'm planning on starting up, but another pretty cool couple of kills from the whitetail grind, and I'm hoping we can see stuff like that from the brown bear one as well, and the other ones that we're doing. I've got plans for that rabbit one because of our coyotes too, so that should be fun. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.